Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about field widgets in Udo. We are going to inherit existing fields and at the end, we will create our own field widgets from scratch. To show you the example project that we will be creating, we will inherit the email widget. If I will type invalid email, a warning will show and then you're not able to click the link at the right side. If I will add a correct email, then this warning will not show and you're able to click the send email here. The next thing, we will inherit the char field and at the end, whatever you added here in your email, it will automatically display under username field so that they will only type the username and doesn't need to add the domain name again. And lastly, we will create a new field widget name range. So if you click and drag, the value will automatically appear here. Before we continue guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit like if you like this video, in that way it will help improve my channel. Thank you and let's get started. Going back to our project, let's create a new directory, valid email field. And inside this folder, we will create a JavaScript file, valid email. So we need to declare that this is module. We need to import registry from web for registry. Next is we need to import the email field because we are going to inherit the email field here. And this located under web views fields email and email field i just want to show you the location so under web static source and views and then fields in here you will see all the default fields in udo and in this case we are going to inherit email widget so let's open it so this is the name of the class email field which is i imported already here so let's create a new class valid email field which extends the existing email field component and to check if it's working fine i'm just doing a super method here and just a console log email field inherited and then we need to add the supported types which is char this is the same thing when you are declaring a field times in Python code. So if it's integer, then you need to add integer, etc. And then lastly, we need to register a new category under fields. And we will call it valid email. And the component will be the valid email field class. Now we are ready to copy and use this widget in our view. So let's go back into our restpartner.xml. And let's see what are we going to inherit. First, let's activate debug mode. And the field name will be email. So here we need to add field name is equal to email. And the position will be attributes. And the attribute name will be widget. And let's paste the new widget valid email we just created. Now let's upgrade our module. Let's see, activate the inspector tool, console lag, and open. You will see that email field inherited, so it's working fine. Now we need to create an XML file so that we can inherit the template. Let's name it valid email field.xml and let's open the template. So we are interested in this template web email field. So let's copy. We'll rename it to inherit. And then the name is equal to all valid email. Let's add expat and the expression. I will just select the entire template and the position will be inside. 
let's add a sample span here invalid email and then we need to go back to our javascript file replace it with template and then the name of our new template let's try okay now we need to change the color into red and only it will show if this email address is invalid in this case we are going to create a getter method and let's name it is valid email so a getter function here is used to get some value directly in our xml file without adding them in our setup method so so in this getter function we will return either true or false so first we need to get by using regular expression i'll just copy and paste this regular expression and then we will test the email which we can get from our props that value to check what are present in our props we can console lag this dot props and check on the console we will have the id name type etc in our case you want to get the value so we can now use this getter function in our xml file first we need to add a class here text danger and only it will show if it's not a valid email now let's try let's remove the add sign now you can see that this warning will only show if we have invalid email let's add it again now it will hide okay the next thing here is we need to add the button that will link to our mail client so let's go back into email field xml and let's just copy this existing code and paste it here and under t if condition we just need to add the same thing but now only if it's valid let's try as you can see the button now is showing and if i will remove this it will not show okay we've done inheritance of this email the next thing is we need to create a username and automatically add the domain at the end of the username in this example we are going to inherit the char field let's create a new directory username field and inside that let's create a new file username field.js and let's copy the code from our valid email.js because it's similar but instead of email field let's replace it with char field same thing here and in the class we need to change it to username field and here char field inheritance let's comment this for now and the template let's comment it and the name of the widget will be username let's quickly inherit rest partner model and i'm going to add a new field which is char let's add it in the init file since we are inheriting the base model we need to edit the configuration and immediately update our module click apply and ok and restart the server so let's refresh We have an error email field is not defined. Okay, so we need to change it to char field. Let's try again. Now let's go back into REST Partner XML and then let's add a new field. Let's select the website field and the position will be before. And then let's add the username which we added. And the widget will be username. Let's upgrade our module. So you can see char field inherited means our inheritance is working fine now let's open the char template and let's see how we can inherit it so checking the char field template it's not possible to just inherit this template because the template doesn't have any element wrapper like div basically what you wanted is to make the input field and the domain name in one div element and we will make both of them as flex so that it will display only in one line so in that case we need to create a new template 
username field.xml and we can call it all.username field all is equal to 1 and first we need to have a div wrapper with a class input group dflex and inside this div we will include the entire char field and after that will be the domain with the class of input group text and let's make it static for now and in the javascript file we need to pass this char field as one of the component of our class username field that component and of course we need to add the template which is username field and lastly we need to add a props so basically from this setup function we already have the props coming from the char field but since we added it as a component we need to pass again the props now let's try as you can see we already have the domain here but the display flex is not working let's try to fix it okay so if we add flex into our input file it will work so we need to create a new class here o username field and let's create scss file and copy the class we just added and we will target the input and add flex one now let's try okay it's working fine let's remove the border and the border radius border zero rounded zero let's try again so now it's working fine next is we need to change the static domain here and get the domain based on the email added in email field so let's go back into our javascript file and activate our getter function and let's name it email domain and let's get the email remember we can get it under props so if we console lang this that props and go inside the record under data we can get other fields values here like the email so under props record that data and we will return if there's an email then we need to split it by add sign and get the second list by using one so by using split it will be converted into an array the first one will be the username and then the next one will be the domain so we need to access the second one and if not just make it as empty so let's copy this and span once email domain now let's try if i will change it to ajscript.com so you can see it's automatically updating okay lastly we need to create a new field widget from scratch for the new field widget that we will be creating from scratch we will be adding a range field so let's close all of this and under components let's create a new directory let's name it range field and inside that let's create range field.js and to show you the simplest way we can create a new field from scratch is that if we go inside color field widget and open these two files we can see that this is the easiest way we can create a new field so let's copy all of this and paste it let's change it to range field and let's remove other codes that we don't need let's replace this and instead of color let's change it to range and instead of char we need to change it with integer and in our model let's create a new field let's name it expected salary and the type will be integer going back to our javascript file let's change it to range and then we need to create a new template called a range field which we will be creating now
and for the range html let's go to getbootstrap.com and let's search range and copy i will wrap it inside div before we upgrade our module let's see what's inside these field props let's open the file so from here we have the standard field traps id name read only record etc which is required and then we added a new field expected salary now we need to add it in our form view so after username we need to add expected salary and the widget will be range let's restart the server and then upgrade our module template name is missing uh, because it's wrong spelling should be templates let's try again let's upgrade and then let's go back into contacts as you can see we have expected salary already here it's not working okay it's because i'm importing it in the wrong location so it should be under web views and fields let's try again now it's working fine now we need to add a minimum which is 100 and maximum 10,000 and step is 100 let's try again and then under the label we need to know what's the value let's add the span and let's add the props value then we add an on change event here ev as our parameter and then we access the update method under props and the value will be the event that target that value now let's try as you can see it's now zero so if i will click and drag here notice that the value will change automatically so now that the range is working we need to add currency here and let's see how we can add if we check our props in a console log we have the record here under data we can actually get the currency id here so in our javascript file let's access the currency id from props that record that data and then this currency if there is currency id let's have a ternary operator here currency id and we will access the second item otherwise empty now we can copy this in our xml file by adding a new span and passing the value currency let's add space and there you go so if i will save this and open again notice that the value is going back to zero so to fix that let's add in our xml file t at value is equal to props that value so if i will edit it and save and go back again it will display the correct range and that's it guys i hope you learned something again in this tutorial thank you and see you next time